Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 most powerful players in Rise of Kingdoms. And the shocking part is that number one might actually be a player we've never talked about on the channel before. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, real quick, my KBK is coming to an end. And I got to say, this has been one of the most bloody KVKs that I've been in in a very long time. Oh my God. Does this player have Boudicca YSG on their wall on their city garrison? This is a city report boys. Anyway, without further ado, number 10 on the list of the most powerful players in rise of kingdoms is none other than TSN MF. This is a player that we have talked about before on the channel, but it has been a while. Regardless, MF has an absolutely insane account. This player is known to be an absolute savage warrior and has been around for a very long time. As you can see here, number 10 has 649 million power, rocking the Arabia civilization and 27.7 billion kill points definitely one of the highest kill points in the game if we take a look 19.8 billion tier 5 kill points 7.7 .7 billion tier 4 kill points and look at this almost 1 billion tier tier 5 units killed alone absolutely incredible from kingdom 1029 now it's my understanding that mf does sometimes jump around to other kingdoms if they want to join a particular kvk so this player does get around no signs of champions of olympia over here this player does not care about that game mode as do most i think don't really care too much about it let's take a look at the album here and uh, i do think we've we've seen these pictures before i'll drop a, a heart on them that way in the future but oh my god hall of heroes 40 million dead troops absolutely disgusting oh my, they're all tier five he doesn't use tier four this player just does not care about tier four troops at all probably doesn't even have tier four troops absolutely incredible oh 55 million tier five units oh my god oh sorry they're not all tier five there's there's actually a uh, six little t1 horses in there absolutely incredible account here from mf let's take a look at the more information section their highest power ever is pretty much where they're sitting right now they're about five thousand power lower they probably just kill the barb or something like that 214 million dead troops absolutely insane we see some nice resource uh assistance over here as well jumping into the commander page we actually are not shown any details here from mf but it's pretty clear that this player is a, a heavy user of zangu nevsky and also probably rocking the uh archer rally so probably Boudica with Henry and of course one extra health point for Guan Yu because he is a savage I can't think of a stronger way to start this list than with MF so let's move on to number nine which is none other than fucking boss from kingdom 1860 now this player may be familiar to you because they used to go by the name of boss Blake we did cover this uh, account a long time ago on the channel they were not in uh the the top 10 list that I made back in I think it was July but they are in the top 10 list now with 665 million power absolutely insane rocking the Germany civilization in kingdom 1860 not in an alliance so not sure what's going on there with uh with boss's account here did this player quit the game who knows there's no achievement wall there is no champions of Olympia here so not really sure entirely but we have 7.6 billion kill points 6.4 billion of which are tier 5 units 1.2 billion of which are tier 4 units absolutely incredible stuff there there is no album here it is set to private so we can't see that but we can see that the highest power ever for this player was 723 million which is absolutely insane that's probably around the time that we talked about them last on this channel they have 88 million dead troops which is absolutely incredible super impressive account here slightly higher power than uh mf but certainly much fewer kill points and uh definitely less dead points as well jumping into the commander view page we can see that they're killing barbs with their saladin I guess that's what you do when you're a whale. You can just do whatever you want. We got Guan Yu over here as the drill master. We have Manatore actually with the Iron Guard 1% health. So we may be seeing an Archer Garrison on boss right here, which is insane. We also have Zenobia, of course 
still insane insane garrisons from Zenobia especially in this kvk that I'm in right now we've seen some incredible use out of Zenobia still to this day she is probably uh you know one of the best garrison commanders in the entire game I'm still so impressed with how well she can perform of course we have Zhang Yu as the charge captain for rallies as well and the commander details are hidden here so we don't really get too much information from boss's account right here in 1860. Anyway, moving on to number eight on the list, we have none other than Kang 747. Now this player was on the previous list that I made in July. They used to be number five on the list. So now they've fallen all the way to number eight, which should just show you how insane some of the top players are on this list. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I hope you'll just quickly just click that thumbs up button just just real quick it helps me defeat the youtube algorithm and it really helps out a ton thank you so much so kang 747 in kingdom 1534 has 735 million power they used to have 869 million power on the previous episode of this series so they are down quite a bit it could be the case that they are in kvk or they were in kvk in between now and then whatever the case might be they're rocking the arabia civilization with 12.1 billion kill points 9.1 billion tier 5 and almost 3 billion tier 4 kill points insane stuff there and we know that this player in the samsung alliance is not has not quit the game because this is the newest uh this is the newest avatar frame right here so we know at the very least they were playing for halloween they do play champions of olympia season six number 72 it looks like which is pretty cool stuff there if we jump into the more information we could see that their highest power ever was 976 million so they almost touched that 1 billion mark this is this is an incredible account here okay uh less kills than mf but more than boss blake so this player is just absolutely insane and the resource assistance here is i think the highest we've seen out of these three accounts so far in the video so really impressive stuff there uh, we have 78 million dead troops which is really really good taking a look at the commander view we still see alexander the great and charles martel i wonder if kang forgets to update this because they have so many more stats in other places i'm very curious to know but it could be the case that they're rocking a cpo prime primary with Alex the Great secondary and they want to get the most amount of stats here or maybe they're using Martel Alex and they're putting them here just to kind of bump them up a little bit I have no idea here but these are some old commanders to be using by uh, one of the strongest players in the game so that's good stuff to see obviously we have Nevsky as the charge captain here so uh doing some cav rallies for sure love to see that we got Cao Cao as the uh barbarian slayer over here which honestly that it makes sense okay taking a look at Kang's album we see an adorable puppy and you can see I've already dropped a like on this so that's how you know we've seen this profile before oh my god it's so cute it is this is such a precious little creature here oh my goodness oh my goodness how adorable I can't even oh my god anyway taking a look here it looks like this player has maybe three accounts i would love to know the details of these other accounts because that could influence this list in the future so kang if you're watching uh, go ahead and put your other governor ids in the comment section below i'd love to take a look at those accounts as well next let's move on to number seven on the list which is none other than bt cyborg now this is a player that i think has been on every top 10 most powerful player video or episode that i have made they are in kingdom 1960 at this point with 766 million power now in the previous episode bt cyborg had 709 million power so jumped about 60 million in the last couple of months which is really impressive we have 5.4 billion kill points uh 3.8 of which came from tier 5 units 1.6 billion coming from tier 4 units and if we jump into the more information section we can see that the highest power ever was about 20 million higher than they are right now so pretty close to their all-time high 76.5 million dead troops which is pretty nuts let's hop over into the album and yes I do uh recall this album there's just a couple of pictures of what I assume are BT cyborgs uh favorite fictional warriors I guess you could call them maybe some inspiration for the amount of power that BT cyborg uh, seeks to have on this account 40 pieces of legendary equipment with a special talent that is absolutely 
unbelievable jumping into the commander view page we can see that they're also slaying the uh barbs with our good old Cao Cao over here let's be real though a player like this probably doesn't really need to slay barbarians because they get a majority of their value from just spending in the game but we can see that the uh drill master and knighthead are the infamous cavalry duo of nevsky zhang yu and we also see a joan of arc over here as well which is really impressive charge captain is Boudica and I gotta say we've seen a lot of the archer rallies in my current kvk and I think that Boudica as an archer lead is absolutely exceptional right now given the current meta in the game but it looks like BT cyborg prefers cavalry perhaps Joan of Arc of course making a quite a big of a splash when she first came out I think as a secondary she's been pretty good in the open field anyway don't know if I mentioned this but they are rocking the Arabia civilization didn't play a uh, champions of Olympia either now next I want to give an honorable mention to Burnaby in Kingdom 1680 because technically they would be next on the list but we talked about this player in the previous episode and we speculated that they probably have quit the game and it does seem to be the case that that is true because their power level has not moved a single point in the last few months that means this player has not logged in since July and they haven't trained a single troop they haven't done anything in rise of kingdoms and yeah I think that pretty much confirms it Burnaby is is uh has probably quit the game but technically they should still be mentioned on the list because the account is 804 million power anyway moving on to number six on the list we have perfume of Mimi now this player is very famous in rise of kingdoms at this point this account used to be number eight on the list in the previous episode and now they are up to number six perfume of Mimi in kingdom 1175 with 822 million power rocking the Germany civilization and 16.4 billion kill points 9.9 .9 billion are tier 5 6.3 billion are tier 4 absolutely incredible stuff here on this account we can take a look that the highest power ever was 907 million with a hundred almost 116 million dead troops absolutely cracking level dead deads right here unbelievable the amount of dead troops that uh that this um perfume of mimi account has if we jump into the album for mimi i do i do recall seeing some of these pictures um we're gonna go ahead and just drop a like on them that way we know we've seen them before i can't i think this is a ferrari i i don't quote me on that because i am not a car guy but i'm pretty sure that's a ferrari right there which is which is some nice stuff we got a bunch of the uh legendary accessories here this must be a really old picture because at this point i'm sure all of these are special talented with uh iconic crystals imbued in them but look at look at that it's 11 million gems right there that's absolutely insane. oh look yeah this picture is from a long time ago that's only 227 million yeah so that's a that's a billion years ago but look at this this looks like a new picture only four likes we'll drop a new one on there this looks like uh they dressed up as Sunduk from from rise of kingdoms well uh, from, from history right the actual person from history but the design looks very similar to how rise of kingdoms designed her in the game and I think that's pretty cool man I think that's pretty cool Lord knows this is probably real gold up there Mimi's actually blinged out in real life Mimi is Mimi's cool as hell yo Mimi's cool yo I, I feel like she's actually cool we got uh expertise Yadviga on the iPad over here we got another iPad in what appears to be a bakery if we jump into the commander page we can see some insane stuff here first of all flexing the expertise to Ragnar which is just amazing I love to see and the Thutmos you know that they did not get these from gold keys they just straight up expertise them because they can do whatever they want in this game uh but we do see here the drill master Joan of Arc we have iron guard Jan Ziska I don't know if I pronounced that right Knighthead Boudica and charge captain Henry so yes Henry Boudica has been quite an insane rally combination here in rise of Kingdom since they were first introduced of course Joan of Arc and John as well uh probably rocking some Cav garrisons here which is pretty interesting I feel like Jan Jan Ziska is that right uh I feel like he's been a little bit underwhelming you guys can let me know what you think about him in the comment section below I haven't seen too many insane things but maybe I just haven't been looking in the right places now Mimi isn't finished just yet because number five on the list is also flower of Mimi so also in kingdom 1175 this is another account that I assume is owned and run by this by Mimi right pretty sure that's confirmed we have 831 million power on 
this account so slightly higher 9 million power higher than the previous account that we talked about but equally as insane germany civilization 13.6 billion kill points 9.4 billion tier 5 4 billion tier 4 and oh my god i i just can't believe a single player has two accounts like this it's just absolutely ridiculous we've seen this album before i guess mimi owns a horse maybe i have i have no idea um just absolutely dripped out i would love to know it looks like mimi has three accounts um does anybody know what her third account is called or what its player id is i would love to know in the comments section below if you can share that with me so i can keep track of that one as well but yeah mimi just absolutely flexing on these accounts she must be worth millions of dollars in in real life if not tens of millions at this point because the amount you have to spend to get an account like this let alone one but two or three of them is just ridiculous so this account looks like maybe more of a garrison account although honestly she could probably do whatever she wants with either of them but we have Yadviga, Theodora, Zenobia, Flavius uh and then Suluan and Bertrand which makes it I mean listen hey when you got the amount of sculptures Mimi has you might as well expertise whatever you can or whatever you want um but yeah this is this is what mimi is rocking here on the uh on the on the flower account um we can take a look at the talents here so went all the way up to the top of the skill tree for 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 get garrisoning hey i'm not gonna question it mimi knows what mimi is doing okay these are the talents that we got on uh on zenobi over here so this is more like a mixed garrison build i think but regardless um really interesting stuff and you guys can come through if you need some talent builds uh for these commanders you might want to take a look here at what Mimi is rocking. Uh, obviously, mobility tree is pretty much useless on, on Yadviga, especially as, as a garrison captain. Um, there are a couple of things here off on the sides that are, are useful. But other than that, you pretty much just go all the way to the top of the cab tree. Anyway, the highest power for this account ever was 911 million with 76 million dead troops. Absolutely insane on this account moving on to number four on the list we finally have a profile that is not owned by Mimi at least not to my knowledge this is DN cookie also known as dark cookie from back in the day now this player also I believe has been on every single top 10 most powerful episodes that we've done here on the channel from kingdom 1556 currently at 912 million power oh my god getting so close to that 1 billion point I wonder if they'll ever hit it rocking uh, the Ottoman Empire civilization with 9.1 billion kill points we have 5.3 billion from tier 5 1.6 billion from tier 4 we can take a look at the more info to see that they are at their highest power ever right now at the time of recording this this is currently their highest power to the point that we've ever seen with 87 million dead troops absolutely crazy this is this is quite the fighter um really impressive stuff on this account jumping into the album we see nothing we also see the commander view which is not shared with us but we do get to see a little bit of Guan Yu Zenobia Zhang Yu Amanatore we got some Honda over here um missing one commander is that real is that possible I don't know what's going on there I think everybody else in the video has had 85 right if I'm not mistaken so we see a lot of the same uh, culprits here and guys if you're wondering is Guan Yu still worth it we've been talking about Guan Yu for years now yes Yes, he's still worth it and this proves it he's on so many commander view pages that it's insane um same thing with Zenobia Zhang Yu these commanders are incredible it's still so funny to see this uh Ninja Gaiden emblem I forgot I keep forgetting they that they even did that crossover and yet we've seen multiple of this in this video it's so it's so bizarre anyway moving on to number three on the list and you're not gonna believe this but number three is Baba TC Ataturk. Now this is infamous, this player, and I mentioned this in every video, but it can't be overstated. Easily one of the most famous and influential accounts in all of Rise of Kingdoms history. Baba, I believe, was the first to break the 1 billion power mark and has pretty much stayed there ever since except for maybe a few moments in a couple of kvks but currently baba is at 1.1 billion power with 32 billion kill points 24 and a half billion tier 5 kill points seven and a half billion tier 4 kill points and i mean it, it's just it goes without saying that this account this account is incredible and you know if we look at the highest power ever it's 1.3 billion and let me just give you guys a little bit of a, a spoiler um even if baba was at his highest power ever right now his rank on this list would still be the same that's how insane the top two players are and it goes even crazier beyond that so stay tuned but we have 196 million dead troops oh my god and you know that this is pretty much all tier five at this point 
like I can't imagine Baba ever using a tier four unit it just does not make any sense I mean just if we look at the commanders here these are the some of the best commanders in the game we still see he's rocking Attila for rallies so obviously using the Attila Nevsky rally combination uh most likely based on what we see here we see Boudica and Guan Yu as well so Boudica is showing up a lot in this video um 87 commanders okay so I don't know if what's what's going on how to what the fuck? maybe the others were missing Lubu and Daochan or maybe Torgny and Mafura are counted here and Baba's in KBK with them I I, I I don't know what's going on here I've lost track of the amount of commanders in the game because they keep adding new ones we see another Tao Tao killing the barbs here and if we jump into the album we'll see pretty much all the same stuff that we saw before this looks like a nice little family pick that's cute I don't think we've seen that one before I'd love to see that now there was news a few months ago that Baba was uh gonna be giving his account to his son um starting uh, maybe at the end of this year or next year so that could be uh, an end of an era now Baba's son does have a 200 million power account as well so uh you could throw that on top of his highest power ever and call him the, the goat and I think a lot of people probably would consider Baba the goat still but number three on the list rocking the Ottoman Empire and uh, I mean what what can I say I mean it, it's Baba this is what you expect he's also the oldest account on this list by quite a bit he's got a seven digit player ID everybody else here has had an eight digit player ID I can't believe how long Baba has been an absolute uh, king of this game I have a seven digit ID as well but mine starts uh, with this with the six millions he's in the two millions that's crazy moving on to number two on the list and you probably did not see this coming but number two on the list is maverick yes ladies and gentlemen this is the first time in this series history that maverick has ever been number two on this list at 1.34 billion power maverick has finally fallen from grace now maverick has the germany civilization in kingdom 2010 uh and 9.4 billion kill points 6.8 billion tier 5 2.6 billion tier 4 and we could take a look in the more info section we can see their highest power ever was 1.536 billion which is just disgusting uh, unbelievable honestly the highest power ever on this account 173 million dead troops which is quite incredible we don't see anything in the album as usual and uh the commander page is what we would expect we're seeing a lot again a lot of Guan Yu we see Nevsky Zhang Yu Nebu uh and we see Cao Cao as the PVE commander the Ranger once again Ethel fled for gathering speed and troop load quite a unique and interesting choice there Maverick what is going on now this is a this is a player that pe you know people have wondered if this player is perhaps um a Lilith employee or you know a Lilith owner of the company something like that a developer test account um we don't really know that much about Maverick compared to uh, some of the other top players on this list so definitely still a mystery but uh the number two player at this point in terms of power and finally we come to number one on the highest power ever in rise of kingdoms and it is the new king the new highest power ever account in all of the game and that is none other than yoda 808 also known as justin we've actually covered his account here in the past we've done a little bit of a deep dive and Justin also happens to pop into my live streams and YouTube comments once in a while so definitely a really active member of the community and has just been genuinely super nice and supportive of, of pretty much all the content creators from what I can see I'm pretty sure that he's uh, you know had videos up on Chiskel's channel as well but regardless Yoda 808 sitting at 1.353 billion power so just narrowly beating out Maverick for that top spot and is by far the youngest account on this list so that means that Yoda shot up to number one over the past year uh and just slowly as I've released these episodes has been climbing that list uh with no real intention of becoming number one I think he just generally just play just buys packs in the game and plays the game as he sees fit and that's just where he ended up inevitably um but 1.3 but insane 6.4 billion kill points 3.8 billion tier 5 2.4 billion tier 4 uh definitely a little bit on the uh, lower side for this entire list but again also the youngest account so the least amount of time to gather those kill points rocking the Germany civilization for the training speed obviously and if we take a look at the more information we can see that uh he used to be about 15 million power higher than uh he is currently at 
367 billion 78 million dead troops which is insane quite a high resource assistance there for the age of the account i would say we could take a look in the album here this was back when he was called moo jagger oh my god the stage three of the crusader the, the pre kvk event is just look at this man look at this that's like what what is he what is he in 54 that means he's like he was like half of his entire kingdom's points here that's insane this one account oh my god of course he's flexing an absolutely perfect cavalry set on none other than dragon lancer this is probably the strongest dragon lancer in all of rise of kingdoms which is pretty impressive um perfect uh, a set here on markswoman uh for archer gear and uh looks like perfect infantry set over here for our boy city keeper what is this another this is just a this is a perfect leadership set i guess on gaius because he can just because he can why not that's actually insane taking a look at the commander view we can see a lot of the same culprits that we've been seeing before so of course Boudica and henry insane rally combo right now nevsky joan of arc also quite an insane pairing definitely really impressive stuff there and we see minamoto actually as the pve ranger here also only 85 commanders interesting but what if i told you we can't stop there because obviously if we take a look at yoda's account it is the single highest power account in the entire game but that doesn't really paint the whole picture because as we saw with mimi we know that this player has two accounts on the top 10 list and if you want to be generous you could technically say that if all of that power was on a single account it would be equivalent of and i have the math right here 1.654 billion power but it doesn't stop there because mimi is not the only player with multiple insane well accounts in fact dn cookie on the list has two other accounts as well one of which is dark brown or dn brownie this used to be one of the highest power accounts ever at 481 million and dn oreo at 291 million so if we combine the power of all three of cookies accounts we end up at 1.685 billion which is 30 million higher than mimi's combined total across their two accounts now here we're entering into a, a little bit of a gray area right because i think mimi's accounts you could pretty much say she's the same girl in both both in the pictures of both accounts we know that those are both uh you know mimi's accounts for dn cookie and dn oreo and, and all that uh, stuff yes they're all in the same alliance they're all you know they're all dn I, I think i'm pretty sure all three of these accounts are owned by the same person i can't prove that but I am pretty sure that that is the case. And I'm pretty sure that others have mentioned that as well from their kingdom. If this is wrong, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. It could be the case that DN Cookie and DN Brownie are two of the same players accounts and DN Oreo is just somebody who's sort of impersonating or copycatting or just jumping on the bandwagon that's always possible. People can just change their name to whatever they want. It doesn't mean that they're all owned by the same person, but I'm pretty sure that they are owned by the same person nonetheless if we're going to add the power of multiple accounts owned by the same person then technically i think the highest power player ever goes by the name of crazy arvix now this player was recently covered by another rise of kingdoms youtuber who goes by the name of lattice gaming really cool content on their channel so go ahead and check them out i'll put their link in the description below but arvix in kingdom 2489 apparently has nine tier five accounts not all of them are in the same kingdom but let's just go through all nine accounts really quick so this is the highest power one at 488 million and 14.7 billion kill points a vast majority of which are tier five highest power ever was 507 million and over 100 million dead troops insane this account which goes by arvix has 318 million power this account known as big arvix has 300 million power lazy arvix has 280 million power gt arvix in kingdom 1960 has 212 million power another gt arvix in kingdom 1960 has 111 million power bad arvix in kingdom kingdom 1648 has 240 million power ambitious arvix in kingdom 1842 with 174 million power and cigar arvix hp in kingdom 1818 with 149 million power 
Now, if it is indeed true that one person owns all nine of these tier five accounts, that would put their cumulative power at 2.276 billion if it were all on a single account. And honestly, spreading that amount of power out amongst multiple accounts is even more impressive and even more useful than having it all on a single account because then you can have multiple copies of expertise commanders. You can have two copies or nine copies of Guan Scipio in the open field, all with tier five infantry, which is absolutely insane. So I want you guys to comment down below. Do you think Arvix is the most powerful player in all of rise of kingdoms or should the crown just go to Yoda 808, also known as Justin, who has the single highest power out of any single account in the game also are all nine of these arvix accounts really owned by the same person across different kingdoms can we get some proof or confirmation in the comment section below if anybody knows anyway with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want to see more rise of kingdoms content and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace